Hello and welcome to a new episode of Tester Tech. And today I'm continuing with rising and using Pi Wall. And I had a little annoyance. And it was that the color scheme in Plasma applications it was not uh, generated by Pi Wall. And that's what I want to fix in this, uh, in this video. And I created a little script based on some snippets I found over the internet. And I'll show you a script that will generate a plasma color scheme from a Pi Wall image like we did in the last episode. Well, this is interesting. I think it's interesting if you want to look at how to generate a color scheme for plasma by using Pi Wall. And if you want to follow along with my whole series of rising i3 from scratch. Without further ado, let's dig into the video. All right, so let's uh, start with explaining the basics. And yeah, basically we have a uh, firewall script and you uh, run it through an image, or at least you run the image through the firewall script. In this case, I've done it with this uh, image here. And then it uh, will generate some color schemes based on this image so that's what i also showed you in the previous videos if you haven't checked them out uh, i would suggest you do so that uh, will certainly help so this this whole desktop i3 you see now that is uh, that is being fed uh, in terms of colors by piewall i've made the script and i also made some changes to it and i'll get to this later so let's first uh, Open up the Pywall script itself. Open. And you have the pywall.sh. I have the mass scripts directory. And uh, this is the, the script. So one thing that was bothering me was that, uh, yeah, the colors for Plasma applications were not respected. So that was, uh, was annoying uh, to me. So I investigated a little bit and I found uh, other people was, were also facing that issue. So so here you see on Dylan Arab's GitHub. So he's uh, the author of uh, Pywall. And uh, yeah, there are questions being asked. So what are some plans of uh, getting some plasma color scheme? And one guy, Pehaven, Pehaven, he made a comment and also showed, showed some script. So that's cool. And if you see here, um, open, it's still open issue, help wanted. So maybe I will create a pull request, but yeah, I need to, to figure it out. This, this is for later, I think. And I just grabbed the script. And it's not entirely correct here. The destination is not Plasma desktop theme. It is uh, local share color dash schemes. So I made a small, a few small tweaks to the script, and I also added these sections here. So I added these sections here, and then uh, it just writes the file to the destination there. And I combined it with another script. So this is the one. And the other one is actually a program that someone made to switch uh, the, the plasma colors without opening the, the whole, without being in a plasma session, actually. It's maybe the best way to describe it. So this is the plasma theme switcher. And the example usage of this is plasma theme and then colors, and then they add a color scheme. And then you can also do some widget style if you want. Uh, but that uh, takes care of the switch uh, from a Plasma application, Plasma-based application, and takes the color scheme as an argument. And in the previous step, I generated color scheme. So it's beginning to come together nicely. And uh, this is one thing that I'll get to later. So the, the script is like this. Let me open it in full screen. So here you have the right directory, local share color schemes. And then the color scheme name is Pywall. And I make it Pywall so it's recognizable uh, for you as well. So like you can maybe see here, color scheme, it's already in here and I select it. So that's what I do one time. 
for an application and then it has this and it will update this pywall script of course when you create new colors so that's pretty cool and then it uh, goes into the uh, xrdb and it queries and the i3 uh, um, title bar colors are also done by querying and uh, on a water but you can query just xrdb and get to those colors that are being generated so this x resources i showed you in the previous video as well so that i made this the the home the actual home folder um i don't know exactly if it's necessary but i just put it in because i was seeing some errors with that plasma script the script i just showed you uh, that changes the, the color scheme of plasma and that's why I put it in here um, and it references the cache wall colors x resource so it references those colors that are being generated by PyWall. So that's the quick sidestep there all right so uh, like I said I updated some of these sections but not everything and that's maybe for a later refinement to go into there and uh, see what actually is impacted. But I thought just create this video now because the basics are working. So why not show it? So here you see the color scheme name uh, there. And then uh, this is the this block is uh, generated and then saved as a file here. And I added dot colors behind it. And then it applies its plasma team uh, dash C for the color scheme and then reference the, the same color scheme and just generate it. So uh, if you run PyWall, and ideally I would merge these two scripts probably, maybe in the future I will do that, but for now it's two separate. So you can uh, run this one and afterwards run this one and then it should also update the kde color scheme so i think enough talking let's uh, look at uh, some images here so for example this one's nice colorful uh, and let's run the pi wall it's h and that will update the the background I'm not sure at the moment why this is giving the message. Uh, so, but uh, this has been updated, but as you can maybe see Dolphin, it's a KDE Plasma application. It's not being updated this, at this moment. And this one as well. So uh, it's Kate, not, uh, not being updated. So that's where the second part comes in. So Pywall uh, Plasma. That was the other script I showed you. And then it does the update on this plasma based application, as you can see. So this one, uh, maybe I need to uh, quit. Let me do that. Exit. Open up Kate again. This one. So there you go, you see the, the blue color is now being shown and also the accent color is there, like a, a red color. And here as well, so Dolphin, uh, that was already updated of course. But uh, yeah, that's basically the, the functionality of that script. Oops. Console. So here are the colors and uh, it's being reflected now very nicely. So yeah, maybe I'll, as a follow-up action I will create a pull request, but I'll have to see. Uh, I think this is a very nice uh, step already. So uh, I will have this script of course in the description down below. And uh, so you can follow along and uh, also get rid of the, that annoyance. Uh, so oh yeah, I said I will get back to this. And what I saw that, so the, this, this screenshot says it. So if you have i3 and you run a KDE application, for example, Dolphin, it looks very strange. It was like a, 
an older, it was not recognized by the newer toolkit version maybe. Uh, so it was like an older layout. And some other people say, well, you can go Q QT, 5CT, and quantum style, but I did a lot of tinkering, but I ended up um, being not satisfied because the more options you give this, the more yeah, variants there are, of course, to have like the consistency. And I was happy when uh, this was working. So, so you see Dolphin now, it has the newer, um, maybe even see it here. This is the newer one. So let me, let me remove the options and let's, I will show you what it looks like uh, without these options. So in the X in it RC, you have these options here. I added them based on a recommendation of uh, that Reddit, oops, that Reddit post. I comment it out now. And I'll log, it, log out, log back in and uh, show you the difference. All right, so now we're back into the system. And so we have the, yeah, the normal operation here. So Kate, for example, that's already showing a difference, right? So you already see it's a different font and the colors are different. So the console is all, is all right. And for example, KD in live. Also okay. So about, you see that the dragon here, the mascot, and it's a different splash screen, um, about screen. And we exit there. And for example, uh, if you're dolphin, so there you see it's a very different, different layout, different colors and stuff like that. So if you do about dolphin, then you see here, it's a different one and components here, KDE framework 590, QT 5.15.2 and XCB windowing system. So it's a, it's a different one. So these options help, uh, help understand, help I3 understand that you need to for these ap applications, you need to have like the Plasma windowing system or the Plasma toolkit. So let's open up uh, Kate again. And these options, so I could experiment, of course, uh, what are uh, what are necessary and what are optional. But yeah, just works. So I'll put that in the description uh, below as well. Let's exit. And uh, so, uh, yeah, that's it. Let's go to the closing of the video. And that's it for another video. I hope you liked it and maybe learned something new. Like if you liked it, subscribe if you loved it, and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.